Shalom, and welcome once again to Elders of GMS, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Today's date is 4 9 11. In other words, April the ninth, cha- um, April, <laughs> April 9th, uh, 2011. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking the scriptures, you know, <laughs> but that's a good thing, you know. Um, and today's topic is entitled Concentration Camps, Guillotines, and the Chip. And basically, we have a whole, we have a lot of information. You know, if you was a, if this was in the form of food on a plate, you'd need like 20 plates to put the food on there. And we are feeding you with this truth, all right? And the reason why I entitled it that is because we're living in the time of the last days, as you should know, and that Esau going to show his horns. He's, he's really going to move fast. You see what's happening around the world. What these devils are doing over here in the States is they're buying time. But what's happening over there around the world is going to come right over here, man. You know? And, um, and we're just going to give you the information, the documentation, and we're going to give you the scriptures. All right, you have anything, brother? All right, go ahead. This is Revelation chapter 10, verse 5. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein that there should be time no longer. That's right. So we're at the end of this thing. We're at the end of this society at the end of the age but anyway before we go into the documents and the scriptures um i have some video clips that i want to show you and i want to start with the first one and uh let's cue this up i'll make sure before we move on to the next topic there's something that i sort of want to raise with you guys while the mainstream media and our politicians continue to hyperventilate over the small issues, we need to keep sight of the bigger picture at hand. Now, the question of who we are as a country, where we're headed as a country, and what, if anything, we're prepared to do in order to regain our slipping role in this global world. Now, remember, America once led the globe in innovation, education, quality of life, even imagination. But the same country that put the first man on the moon is now pulling the plug on its shuttle program. The same country that just last week discovered a new elementary particle, I mean, potentially a new force in nature, is set to shut down the very lab where the discovery was made, the legendary Tevatron particle accelerator. Why? Because funding has run dry. Now, our best and brighters no longer seek to be rocket scientists or astronauts. They now flock to Wall Street, the dominant sector of our economy, but also the culprit in part for this country's decline. Now we're losing economic clout, falling behind in technological information, and the all-powerful dollar is slowly but surely seeing the end of its privileged status as the global reserve currency. These are the issues that our politicians must tackle. These are the trends that a leader with courage would actually try to reverse. So think about that as you watch the fight over the budget, the wars, the elections. And think about that next time you go to the polls. Yeah, so let's come back to me. So this this was on... Uh uh, RT, and um, basically, you, they can't hide it anymore. The the so-called U.S. dollar, which is the Federal Reserve note, is dying a quick death. That's why the uh, government was almost shut down as of uh, last night. And they came to an agreement, but a temporary agreement, and I believe it was they were to cut, I think it was 38 billion dollars they're going to cut from the uh, budget so it's going to affect a lot of lower middle class middle class and poor and this and and like i said this is a temporary uh 